Hi guys, this is Ash here and this is my tutorial on how to unroot the Samsung Galaxy S3 i9-300. Uh, so guys, before you go ahead and unroot this phone, the first thing you need to check uh, is uh, whether your counter has been increased and uh, as of today, the, the odds are that the way you've rooted your phone, your binary counter would have been increased. So in order to check that, hold the down volume power and the home buttons at the same time. Just keep holding it and your phone will reboot into the download mode. So here hit volume up to continue. So over here guys you see that uh, my custom binary download says no. If yours says yes and it's got a one count or whatever count then go ahead and hit my tutorial in the, uh, in the description the one that says to reset the binary counter. So go ahead get the counter reset and then follow this tutorial from here on. So now going, going on, we are assuming that your counter says zero. Do not worry about the current binary. Do not worry about the system status. Just the custom binary download. Follow this tutorial from here on if your custom binary download says no. If it says yes uh, or if it says count one or something like that, make sure you go to the uh, link in the description. Uh, go to my tutorial on resetting the counter and make sure you get it to, get it to know before you proceed further. Uh, so guys, uh, the first thing you need to do over here is uh, go ahead and uh, get Samsung keys installed on your computer. You probably will have it installed already. Uh, if not, just get it installed. You can Google for it or get it from the Samsung website. So once you've done that, hit link 1 and download Odin. So this would be Odin 3 v 1.85.exe. Just unzip it, uh, extract it and you'll get these two files. Just leave it as it is. And then hit link 2 and uh, link 2 would get you to sammobile.com and over here hit firmware and then select smartphone and over here you can select Android so over here just navigate to uh, GTI 9300 that's the Galaxy S3 and uh, from here you can download any any of the firmware that's relevant to you so uh, for me I would get I got the Indian firmware uh, or you can just select Asia over here and uh, or in your or whatever region it is in your case and uh, select download the relevant firmware that you want so uh, I'm from India so I just got the latest firmware available for India I just went ahead and downloaded it and uh, just save it anywhere and I've saved it over here dot zip leave it as it is so now uh, what you do is right click and run Odin as administrator alright so on your phone on the S3 right now just go ahead uh, and uh, hold the I'm sorry just swipe hold the down volume power and the home keys at the same time and the phone will reboot into download mode so just keep holding them Okay, so right now hit volume up to continue. Alright, so leave the phone as it is right now. I've connected to the USB cable, just leave it as it is. And I've go ahead and hit PDA and navigate to wherever it is that you have uh, the zip file uh, downloaded. Alright, guys, one thing I forgot to mention is uh, the firmware that you download would be in the form of a zip file. Just right click it and extract it, and you will get a .tar file. Alright, now that's done, go in here into Odin and you can select the .tar.md MD5 file under PDA. Alright, once you've selected it, make sure that repartition is not selected. By default, only auto reboot and F dot reset time would be checked. And make sure those two are the only ones checked. And hit on start. Alright guys, so now the Galaxy S3 will reboot, so just wait for it, uh, wait for the process to be done. Alright guys, we are up here, so uh, just to show you, uh, 
the firmware that we fl flashed is a non-wipe firmware so uh, which means that all my call logs and uh, whatever apps that I already had have been retained alright guys so right now um, we go into settings and uh, go to about device and status and you, you just check and if your device status still shows as modified what you do is uh, unplug the cable Press the up volume, power and the uh, home keys at the same time. Let it go once you see Samsung Galaxy S3 displayed. You will reboot into Android recovery. So right now, navigate down to wipe data factory reset and delete all user data. and go into wipe cache partition and now hit reboot system now alright so we are up here guys uh, let me quickly run through setup skip next skip not now next next no thanks, finish. Alright, the phone is up. Okay, okay. Going into settings now. Scrolling down about device, status. Scroll to the end now. Wait for the device status to show now up. Now you see the device status shows as normal. So that's pretty much it for unrooting the Galaxy S3, guys. Uh, if you guys have any questions, leave it in the comment section. Or you guys can hit me up on Facebook or Twitter or send me an email directly. All my contact details are in the description. So uh, before you guys go, uh, make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons. I will be coming out with more videos for the Galaxy S3 as well as the Galaxy Note and uh, the HTC One X by the way. Uh, so uh, yeah, if you guys want to do me a favor, use my links to Amazon in the description. The one that says S3 accessories or next S3 directly of Amazon. Just use those links, uh, doesn't, doesn't necessarily have to be S3 related stuff that you order, whatever it is that if you could order it off Am Amazon, use my links to get, to get through to Amazon and uh, search an order whatever you want and uh, if you end up placing an order, I end up making a few bucks. So if you guys want to help me out, uh, support me in making my videos, so I mean if you want to do that, do me a favor, use the links, uh, just ask any so. That's pretty much it guys. Once again, thanks a lot for watching and you guys have a great day. Bye bye now.